Um, so I noticed a few strange things around my house. At first, my old plastic army men toys started to pop up in places where I didn't leave them or I've never put them. I don't know who's been touching them. In addition, I've been hearing some sounds, mainly around night time, early morning. It sounded like gunfire and maybe a few screams here and there. So I was suspicious and I wanted to investigate. I set up a few cameras I had around the house just to run all day and I wanted to see what would happen and uh, sure enough things started appearing. I couldn't believe what I was seeing so I kept the cameras on and put them around a few more different locations I thought that the uh, soldiers would be putting themselves. I noticed over time that there was an escalation to things. The army men initially just set up a few patrols here and there. They were seemed to be establishing outposts. You know, the usual sort of stuff you would probably expect. I never caught them off camera. They would set up things during the day, but when I would check the footage and go back a few hours later, it would all be gone, no sign of them anywhere. Around late March, I noticed that these activities became more frequent. There was helicopter patrols, far more jeeps, all during the daytime as well. It wasn't until April when the fighting broke out. Over the span of a few days, there were these various firefights around the house, all happening around the same time. Things got pretty intense, there were skirmishes all over the place, at all hours. I decided to set up some more cameras. This time a few were in boxes and stuff with holes cut out, just to hide them so I can get a closer look at some of the army men without them noticing. And just when it seemed things were peaking, it all suddenly dropped off and got quiet again. At first I thought the army men hit it as stalemate or something. Little did I know it was actually the calm before the storm. I noticed that for the tans, they were hunkering down and fortifying in places, setting up different encampments. The greens on the other hand were far more busy. They seemed to be gathering up a lot of equipment and vehicles, getting ready for a big attack. At night time they had cargo planes arriving and during the day they were unloading them in supply depots. And just like last time, they decided to strike again at the beginning of the month, though this time it was way more ferocious. The back and forth between the tans and the greens carried on for at least a week, until again, suddenly, they all just disappeared. I've kept the cameras rolling, but I haven't seen them since. But who knows, they might come back. I'm going to keep an eye out and see what happens next. Maybe they've gone off and taken their hidden war somewhere else.